Hello and welcome to Lenovo Unboxed. I'm Gavin and I'm here as always with Kevin. Gavin, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How Excellent. are you? Excellent. Very well. Good. We're here to unbox uh, a, uh, a new product in a fairly new category. You could say mm -hmm. the lines are being erased every day or at least blurred way to put it. between laptops and tablets. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is no exception. This is, it has tablet in the name, yep. but it's a bit of a blur. Yep. Uh, this is the ThinkPad Tablet 2. And uh, I will invite Kevin yep. to now hold up the ceremonial box cutters and yes. get us started. ThinkPad Tablet 2, successor to the ThinkPad Tablet 1. All right. But of course, <laughs> the, the big headline yeah. on this thing, uh, first of all, yeah. is the operating system, right? Correct. Uh, this is a Windows 8 tablet. So let's get the box right. open here. Ceremonial box cutter. As, as you all know by now, Windows 8, brand new yep. OS, just, uh, just hit the mm -hmm. uh, shelves October 26th. Mm -hmm. Theoretical shelves in some cases. Thank you, sir. There we go. Okay, we have the inner box. We have a double unboxing. It's nice. a special treat to make up for all those ones we didn't have boxes for. Let's <laughs> let's be honest. We're already off to a more attractive start than usual. Aww. This is a nice box. All right. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I might hang on to this. All right. I'm not saying our past boxes have been yeah. hideously ugly, no. but let's be honest. Okay. So just to give you folks a look at the contents of the box, uh, we've got the charger and the charging cable and the pen. All right. So let me. Did will... you say? Did you just say a pen? I did, Gavin. All I right. said pin. He well, said the P word. Again, before we get into it, you know, to put this into a little bit of context, you guys may know we've been talking a lot about convertibles lately, uh, things that can double as a laptop and a tablet. You've seen Yoga by now, ThinkPad Twist, uh, IdeaTab Lynx as well. And uh, this goes into the same category of, uh, you know, again, blurring the lines. But this one has a pen, and that's what makes it stand out. It's the yes, one with the pen. It does. Did you just hand me the pen or just the thing that the just pen the was box. in? All right. Okay. Let's get this turned around and yes. I will insert the pen. This is where this is where Mr. Pen lives right there. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, so what we've got here, Gav, is um, give it a quick yeah, Get it. my fingerprints <laughs> off of that. There we go. We want All it right. to look as nice as possible for you guys. Okay. So we've got a um, there's a, a number of tens as as our uh, marketing team is saying about this. 10.1 inch screen, uh, 10 hours of battery life. Uh, we're under 600 grams on this uh, for the metrically challenged. Under 10 you. pounds, then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Under 10 pounds. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll do a, a little uh, brief round the horn here. Can I hold it before you do? Yes, you may. Nice. It is, I have to say, I'm quite, I have the original ThinkPad tablet, mm -hmm. and this is shockingly uh, smaller and lighter svelte. from what I can tell. It is svelte. Okay, so we've got our combo headphone jack there. Uh, we've got our volume up and down. We've got rotation lock. Mm -hmm. Then as we go to the bottom here, we've got our mini, not micro, mini HDMI, Okay. our docking connector port, and then over here on the side we have a micro USB for charging, and then under this flap here, if I can get this open, we also have a full-size USB port. Good, okay. And what's and the then, significance of that? I know we've talked about that in the past. What's What, what can people mm -hmm. do with the full-size USB that they wouldn't on a tablet that lacks Sorry, I got that. a little piece of the, uh, the sticker. From the uh, label stuff Thanks. on there. Okay, so uh, the importance of that is if you, so this is, let me back up a second. So this is what, uh, in broad terms, I would refer to and other people refer to as a companion device. Okay. Right? Which is not to say that this can't be your primary uh, uh, PC mm -hmm. on a trip, right? It is um, based on Intel SOC, right? Uh, so unlike ARM based tablets, mm -hmm. ARM based Windows tablets that are running Windows RT, this is running full Windows 8. Okay. Right. So you've got. I didn't understand anything you said until this is running full Windows 8. Full but I Windows appreciate 8. That. Uh, key I'm difference sure some there. Of you did. Yeah. yeah. Key difference there being that this is fully compatible with you know legacy Windows applications, as they say. So Word, anything. Word, that, Excel, PowerPoint, all the. Right, are. and anything that you bought a license for, right? If you've okay. got you know photo apps, music apps, anything that you've got, it's going to run on this because okay. it's the same architecture. It's fully uh, backwards compatible. Blah blah blah. Okay. Right. So, key thing about um, having uh, a full-size USB port is because it is full Windows in that sense, you've got peripherals you might want to use. Oh, right? okay. This may not be your full-time, uh, all-day, everyday PC, but you got a printer, you got a scanner, you got a okay. mouse, you got a keyboard, you got something. Yeah, I'm so dense. The only <laughs> yeah. thing I ever think about with the mm -hmm. USB is data, is actually having the thumb oh, yeah, drive external and putting hard data drive, on thumb drive. But yeah, d devices as well. Mm -hmm. Hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, so. absolutely. Forgive me. Um, so that's key. And uh, tell you what, let's... Uh, and again, the, the significance you talk about being able here. to run things like Word and PowerPoint on uh -huh. here. 
Um, in the new Windows 8 experience, of right. course, you can go back and forth between what is essentially a traditional desktop mm -hmm. environment right. with things like Word and, and uh, you yep. know Microsoft Office, mm -hmm. essentially, right. and then go back over to to the the new yep. apps in the uh, Windows Store that they yeah opened, absolutely. Right? I was going to fire this up, but it looks like uh, the battery's not charged out of the box, so we'll talk about All the right. peripherals. Okay, um, and we'll promise a follow-on video later yep. with this thing Showing booted full up. Function. Okay, exactly. So this is the dock. I apologize for those of you who see this. This is not uh, final textured plastic. It'll be nice and uh, uh, textured. So this sure. will be the uh, the dock. Right, so that fits mm -hmm. right in there, and uh, comes right out. All right. Uh, so on the back here, we've got just to give you kind of a round the horn on this: power, Ethernet, two USBs, audio, headphones or audio out headphones. Sorry, microphone and headphones, uh, HDMI and uh, micro USB as well, okay. and then another full size USB over here on the side. Okay. And the dock available as an option or comes with it? Uh, it will be available as an option. Okay. Good okay. to know. Good to and know. And then uh, we will have uh, a number of different carrying cases. They'll be just like sort of a little snap-on cover for this, which we don't have with us today. Uh, but this is a full-sized ca uh, carrying case that's double-sized, rather, I should say, uh, to also carry the optional keyboard. Ah, and this is where it gets interesting, right? Yep. Because so, so far we were it. just touch tablet, traditional. Mm -hmm. Right. This is where the line gets blurred a bit, right? Right. So what we've got here is a Bluetooth keyboard, mm -hmm. right? So you do not have to make a physical connection between the two. And the reason for that, there, there are trade-offs, as with everything. There's upsides and downsides to this. Uh, if you've got a physical keyboard, then you can't put it on the dock and use the keyboard separately because it would have to be connected, right? So what they wanted to do here okay. was create a keyboard that would be able, uh, that you could sort of soft dock, as we'll say, uh, the tablet into and still be able to use the keyboard, but you could also put this on the full dock, pull this away, and put the keyboard in your lap and still type with it. Interesting. So they can be separate and still still work it together. Exactly. Okay. And as with everything that's called a ThinkPad, it's got a track point. This is an optical track point. Right. Uh, and then we've got you know your right and left buttons and our uh, handy dandy center scroll button. Very cool. And yeah, I have to say the keyboard looks good. And uh, we were I was messing mm -hmm. with it before we started. Feels yeah. good. It feel, mm -hmm. it doesn't doesn't quite feel like a classic, you know, true laptop computer, but it feels mm -hmm. pretty darn good. Yep. So, good. Um, and um, then, uh, tell me a little bit about the display, if you would, too, okay. if, I'm, if I'm not getting ahead of you. Yeah, we 10.1-inch uh, display. Um, it's, uh, How many finger touch do we have? Uh, five finger touch. That's what okay. I was trying to think of. Yep. Okay. And, You're uh, slow today. I know. Yeah. I've, <laughs> just so much to talk about. Uh, so I want to get, get back to the pen sure. uh, in the time that we have left. One of the key things that we, we found out from our experience with traditional sort of convertible tablets that mm -hmm. spin around, the ones we've been making for years, is that... Uh, the experience that you get in a lot of modern tablets from a <clears throat> what they call a capacitive styli or capacitive stylus uh, is not always adequate for a lot of the things that our customers want to do. Okay. So you get what uh, sort of things? We're talking about precise things, right? Right, exactly. Okay. So on a on a purely capacitive touchscreen, the only kind of stylus that you can normally get is something that uh, essentially imitates a finger, right? So you have a uh, an inherent limitation on the on, on the resolution that you can get there. Um, so it's kind of like you know, to, to be a little hyperbolic about it, a, a digital finger painting. Okay. Right? But this is it's not... It's a little dull. It's like the, the markers you get for your kids when they're still little. Exactly. Where they're doing broad right. strokes. Whereas right. this is a, f a true digitizing pen, meaning that it is not only pressure sensitive, um, or meaning that it is of great resolution and also okay. pressure sensitive. Right? So if you're an artist and you need to draw with a fine level of control and drew, do thin lines and thick lines, um, also... For example, students or professionals okay. in engineering, chemistry, mathematics. I'm picturing illustrators and that sort right, of thing. Right, people who need to do complex mathematical formulas, okay. the things that you can't type in on a keyboard, symbols, chemical diagrams, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. That's where this is really useful. Okay. Uh, and plus, you know, I just think it's it's fun sometimes, you know, to actually Would you describe it as a nerd's, a nerd's dream? Pretty much. We're looking for clever marketing <laughs> taglines today, so we'll, I'll um, put that one out to the Twitter oh, sphere. Sorry, I realized as I went around the horn with the uh, ports, I actually forgot one, so we'll, we'll, we'll vi revisit that up here on the top. Okay. We have a micro SD card, Okay. Uh, and we have our slot for a SIM card. Good to know. Right, so for built-in wireless WAN. Okay. So that's another feature I forgot to mention. Okay. Also built-in wireless WAN. So all in all, um, you know, a fully functional Intel architecture-based full Windows 8 tablet PC. And talk to me, pull, pull back before we go, um, mm -hmm. we talked about the significance of the pen as far mm -hmm. as the audience that would be interested in that. Right. And the, the need for a really a really precise pen. Mm -hmm. um, pull back and tell me, mm -hmm. the audience for this thing you mentioned, it's a companion. Is this just for business people? Uh, no. You know, who, who, who is this best suited for beyond what you'd call a classic sort of road warrior business right. person? So, you know, the way we tend to look at these things is, is it's who, oh, sorry, I was holding it upside down. Uh, <laughs> Kevin. 
Who do you, uh, you know, w when it comes time to make a choice between including or excluding some feature or adding something or taking something away, you know, you really look at who your target audience is, mm -hmm. right? So we have a pretty ex uh, extensive set of consumer tablets, mm -hmm. right? But there are things, uh, you know, with this, like the pen, uh, the full array of ports, the uh, accessories that come with it, that just make it a little more targeted to the, the needs of business users. So if sure. I had to classify this sort of as a broad classification back to what I said earlier, it's a, it's a business companion device as opposed to like a consumer sure. or home companion device. Sure. And you can see elsewhere on our YouTube mm -hmm. channel and obviously on Lenovo.com, mm -hmm. check out yep. the S2110 tablet. Mm -hmm. Not one of our catchiest names, uh, <laughs> but but a really nice one. I use that one yep. at home, actually. And we have the smaller ones, the A2107, 2109. Um, but again, a slightly different, you know, you're always looking at what's what's geared to a professional and what's geared to someone yep. who wants to lie on the couch and, and uh, you know, mess around with it on a weekend. But, yep, absolutely. Um, Kevin, anything else to add? No, I think that's it. All right. That is the ThinkPad Tablet 2, a new Windows 8 mm -hmm. line-blurring device from <laughs> Lenovo. And we thank you for joining us today. Thank you.